to that can opener. Man. Yep. This is serious business. Looking in the aquarium. Whoa! So there's some, there's some big mammoths in there. It's a good drift. That'll get a fish. Eat it. Fish on! It's a big one, too. There's another one. Got him good, too. Oh, good jumper! Normal day. I'll tell you what, man, this looks like snow, not rain. In southern Argentina, the bottom of the world teems with adventure and natural beauty. Here, the towering Andes shed snow-packed glaciers as great as any on Earth. These melting glaciers create large turquoise lakes that appear as optical illusions against the high desert pampas. Extreme winds allow condors to soar over the Andean Patagonian steppe that descends onto the vast, desolate wilderness pampas. On these treeless plains, gauchos still ride with their dogs, like they have for hundreds of years. The parched pampas somehow occasionally thrives with wildlife of guanaco, flamingos, reyes, silver fox, black neck swans, and all sorts of Antarctic migratory birds. Caracara are unique carrion feeders. They also can be predators. Caracara eat the eyes out of sleeping animals like guanaco, blinding them and following them until they die. Then the caracara feed on the carcass. Even more amazing than the wildlife of the desolate parched pampas are the paradoxical desert sinkhole lakes like Jurassic Lake, home of the greatest rainbow trout fly fishing on Earth. These giant fish readily take both wet and dry flies. This is our quest, as well as to learn about this remarkable lake and its moonscape habitat. It takes 10 hours to drive across the barren pampas to Jurassic Lake. The road begins as gravel that all but disappears into rocks. At times, only piles of rocks guide you across the vast desolation buffeted by ferocious 50 to 70 mile per hour winds. It would be simple to perish out here in the Patagonian wilderness. Mother Nature may or may not let you ford the Barrancosa River, depending on how deep rains have left it. And you climb canyons that remind you of the prehistoric past, complete with Paleo-Indian caves. Just when you think it can't get any slower or longer, the last 20 kilometers practically grinds you to a halt, and it takes three more brain-rattling hours. But the drive from hell is worth it to reach the lake from heaven, the greatest rainbow trout fishery in the world.